Hello and welcome to this virtual taste lecture for the University of Bristol. I'm Dr. Xinfei. I'm the one of the lecturer of, at the School of Management. I'm also one of the fellow of the Bristol University Digital Future Institute. It is a research institute where we investigate the potential application of digital technology on different business sectors like telecom, charity, finance, and film. And the topic of my talk today is using analytics to drive business decision. As the talk goes on, you will find out some example application of business analytics. Before we get started, I will introduce you what the analytics is. There are a number of views on analytics. One of leading books define the analytics in five ways. Understanding business, preparing data, building models, making decisions, adding business insights. The reason we are talking about the business analytic definition, I guess you are watching this video because you are interested in our new MSc modules. You might notice that there has been a lot of company realizing the importance of uh, analytics in their daily operations. So what are the skills you need to become a business analyst in 2020? I'm now sharing you four top skills which can make you successful in this super competitive field. A lot of analytic techniques are developed by statisticians and then get applied by the people who are not familiar with the theory and algorithm. The result is that many people might have a hard time uh, in finding the best technique for their business problem. So our business analytics program will provide you a good understanding of machine learning and operational research algorithm such as uh, unsupervised learning, supervised learning, reinforcement learning, linear and integer programming. You will be also given a chance to learn a lot of uh, well-known business analytics application from our course. Our program will give you the huge edge in your job search and career development. As a business analyst, we need a strong programming skill set. In 2020, general purpose language are used more frequently than ever before. Most of business analysts are proficient in Python, R, and SQL. Python and R are hand down the preferred language for statistical modeling. There are a lot of package related to machine learning and operational research algorithm. People can easily download them online, and in most of the case, they can apply directly for their project. SQL is not a general purpose programming language, but it's super important in the field of business analytics. So when we come back to the question, what is SQL? SQL is the database programming language which allow their user to access, update, manipulate large volume of data. It can be integrated with R and Python smoothly. In many business analytics projects, decision-making system was built for structured data format. Business analysts need to use the SQL to remove any issue related to data quality. For example, we can use SQL to remove the duplicated or incomplete data inputs. Compared to data scientists, business analysts should have a good understanding about the business. It is really important to make the business understanding become a collaborative process. Uh, where customer and business analysts are working together to understand the business process and the main objective for business analytics project. Once business analysts finish the business understanding 
process, the person should have a really good understanding about the business and should be able to formulate the business question into a statistical model, which is quite important business analytics application. Data storytelling is about a conversation and how we talk and engage with people to understand our data message. One of the best selling books saying storytelling is the last 10 feet of your business analytics, arguably the most important aspect. In data storytelling, we don't just search for the numerical result. We have to add some business insights and we have to explain the result to the customer who are less technical than us or just the business decision maker or our managers. We have put those numerical results, business insight into one single story and then tell our customer how to apply this result for the company now I'm going to show you some example application of a business analytics. One example is recommendation system. Recommendation system is to use analytics to make the accurate recommendation based on the customer own preference and viewing history. Recommendation system has been widely used in the company like Netflix, YouTube, Amazon and eBay. Take Amazon Bookstore, for example. Every book in Amazon database has record the preference score of all users. If I search some analytics related books in the past, the system will analyze the key feature of those books and recommend a new book to me. On the Amazon website, you might notice uh, some session on the website called you might also like. On that session, Amazon would recommend some book which sharing the similar feature like my previous reading. They are written by the same authors or they are using the similar keywords, for example. In our business analytic program, you will be given a chance to learn more advanced uh, algorithm for the recommendation system to promote the company digital marketing. My another example application of business analytics is big data driven inventory planning. In this application, business analysts need to determine the stopping level in order to better satisfy the customer demands. By using the historical data, we can use the machine learning algorithm to predict the customer demand. We can put the prediction result into the operational research modeling in order to identify the best stocking level. But now this procedure has been changed. We are in the age of big data. The prediction can build on different data sources like the Google Trends, eBay indexing. So the company now is able to adjust their stocking level quickly. Thank you very much for listening this talk. I hope it can attract your interest in business analytics and potentially starting at the University of Bristol next year. Thank you again and goodbye.